Joseph becomes a slave. The prophet Joseph waited in the well patiently for three days. Finally, a caravan which had come from Damascus and was going to Egypt stopped to rest by the well. Someone from the group went to the well for some water. He let down the bucket. He then went to pull it up, but he couldn't. It was as if the bucket had got stuck somewhere. He curiously looked into the well, but couldn't see anything. He suddenly heard a noise. Joseph had hold of the rope and was shouting, Someone, get me out of here! The man pulled the rope with all his might. He then started to pull him up slowly. All of a sudden, a very handsome boy came up on the rope. He was shocked. When his shock passed, he took Joseph and returned to the group with a bucket full of water. He called to his friends with excitement. Surprise, friends! Look what I found! A beautiful child in the well. We can take him to Egypt and sell him. Joseph's brothers then came to the well to see what had happened to him. When they saw him among the travellers, they told them that Joseph was their slave who had run away and that they might sell him for a good price. The travellers didn't want to buy Joseph just for money. They realised that the brothers were trying to get rid of him. So they said that they had no need for a slave. In that way, they would buy Joseph for a very low price. The brothers asked for little money and the travellers bought him. Joseph watched everything in patience. He was aware that no one would believe him if he spoke, so he didn't answer to his brothers in any way. After they bought Joseph, the travellers left the well. After a long journey, they arrived in Egypt. Egypt was ruled by the Amalekans for a long time. They had come from Yemen and had put an end to the rule of the pharaohs. A king called Reyyan was ruling Egypt when Joseph arrived there. He was a fair and authoritative ruler. In the rulership of Egypt, the next most important person was the Aziz. The Aziz of Egypt was the king's top assistant. Today's equivalent of the Aziz is the Prime Minister. He was also responsible for the Treasury. The ruler of Egypt had given the duty of Aziz to a man called Kutfer. Kutfer was a tough person. He was very wise and intuitive too. He was married to a woman called Zuliha, who was a noble and beautiful woman. His marriage to her had gained him prestige in the eye of the king. Kitfe and Zuliha hadn't had children and had no hope left of having one any more. So they had decided to adopt a child. In those days, slavery was a very common practice in Egypt, as it was all over the world. There was a big market set up only for the selling and buying of slaves. The slaves, brought from all around the world, would be shown and sold there. The tribe who had found Joseph brought him to this market and put him up for sale. The Aziz of Egypt buys Joseph. The Aziz of Egypt, Kitfer, had gone to the market to have a look around. He was willing to buy a slave if he found a good one. While he was going around the market, he came to the place where Joseph was being sold. When Kitfer saw Joseph, he suddenly felt happy. It was as if he had found what he was looking for. He felt like he had found a diamond the moment he saw him. A very nice boy indeed, he thought to himself. He asked his price and then bought Joseph. Kitfer looked upon Joseph more like a son than a slave. He and his wife had thought of adopting a child for a very long time anyway. This way, they could ease their need for a child by showing Joseph their love. When he arrived home, he called his wife and said, take care of this child. He looks like a clever kid. I hope that he helps us around the house. We can even adopt him in time. Zuleha had liked Joseph from the moment she saw him. She hugged him with love and kindness and gave him brand new clothes to wear. When Joseph was washed and clothed, his cuteness and handsomeness was clear to see. When Kitfer and Zuleha saw him like this, they loved him even more. They cared for him and showed him compassion as if he was their own child. Joseph grew up to be a very handsome young man. His morals and behaviour made everyone love him. His physical appearance impressed everyone too. Zuleha was very surprised at the changes she saw in Joseph. She no longer looked at him as her son. She became affected by his looks and fell in love with him. 
she felt very jealous of him too. Joseph, on the other hand, had no idea about Zuliha's feelings for him. He had a pure type of love for Kidfat and Zuliha because of the good things they had done for him. Zuliha's love for Joseph was getting stronger each day. It had started to change her. She didn't want to leave his side for even a minute. Zuliha no longer had her self-control. She wanted to open up to him and tell him her feelings.